Hello, class. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, good. How are you? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you? Pretty good? Very good, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. All right. Last day of the week. Woo! Yes. <laughs> All right. Any plans for the weekend? And, to, and tomorrow is a, is a holiday. Do we have any plans? Are we going what? anywhere? Not to me, teacher. I'm going to work tomorrow. Really? And, yeah. That's oh, I nice. work este, seven, 24 7. What? 24 7. ¿Cómo así? How do you say? No, 24 7. Yeah, but you're going to be working 24 7. Uh, my company. Oh, your company. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Robots. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. Wow. Yeah. So you have to work, huh? But you're going to get paid more or something like that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Pay okay. double. Well, at least. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's not as good, but, you know. It's better than yes. not. <laughs> yes. oh, yeah, sorry to hear that. Um, okay, um, well, uh, let me see. So guys, um, all right, well, um, I'm glad to see you guys today and glad that everybody, well, the majority of you guys are connecting right now. Um, anybody else have, good plans for the weekend other than 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 uh working like uh poor marvin <laughs> any no no plans no good plans for the weekend sleep more than usual <laughs> oh okay yeah yeah i i I'm also, i also have that plan oh yes <laughs> <laughs> yes i Unfortunately, I have to, I, I work on Saturday mornings. So, um, today, and are you working tomorrow? Because no, tomorrow, no, 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 no. Ah, that's, okay. That, that's why I was going to, I was, I was going to say that unfortunately I work Saturday mornings. And so tomorrow is going to be really nice to just relax and just, mm -hmm. I, I think I'm planning to get up very late. <laughs> so, oh, awesome. Yeah. Like around noon. <laughs> Maybe, maybe we'll have to see. Uh, um, actually, uh, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you a little secret. Um, I my my room has a lot of windows. Ah. And none of my windows have um, curtains because no. um, the thing is that uh, I I I have to wake up early, so I like to wake up naturally. Like I try to wake up with the sunlight. So I, that's the way that works best for me. But so what I'm going to have to do tonight is put on something <laughs> on the window so that it's dark. And I don't <sighs> yeah. tomorrow. That's, you know, I have to wake up late. I, I have to because I haven't been sleeping very well. So. And if you use those, uh, I don't know how you call those mask here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it doesn't work for me. <gasps> okay, I just can't imagine. Yeah, maybe you you can think and maybe use curtains. That is the way how it's said. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Actually, I, I I I have done it in the past. I, I put I don't wear curtains. I put actually blankets. But uh huh. Uh -huh. I, I, they're like uh, thick, uh -huh. uh, dark blankets, and so that way I don't have to wake up so early because. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I need I need to sleep. <laughs> I need, yes. <laughs> I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> All right. Well awesome. guys, um so nobody really nobody has any interest in plans, just be at home sleeping. No, a lo que hemos llegado, ¿verdad? <laughs> Híjole, después de trabajar de 8 a 10, no, y después de 8 a 10 clases, usted también ha empezado porque trabaja todo el día igual y trabaja y se queda trabajando, calificando. Ay, no. 
Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's it's tough, but you know. So that's why <laughs> I'm definitely planning to enjoy sleep. Tomorrow. Yes, I do. I awesome. so need it. Yeah. Well, anyways, guys, um, let's uh, get into our um, attendance. So, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Andres. No, Andres? No, I don't see Andres. Okay. Um, Edgar. Um, I don't see Edgar either. Okay. Um, Janet. Ooh, I don't see uh, Janet either. Fabiola. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Francisco Javier. No, I don't see him either. Heidi. Present teacher. All right. Great, Heidi. Irene. Irene, I don't see. Irene. Josue. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Uh, Juan Francisco. No, right? No, I don't see him either. Uh, Carla? Carla? No, not here either. Uh, Melissa? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Luis? Present teacher. All right. Uh, Manuel? Manuel Alejandro? Mm -mm. I don't see him either. Okay. Uh, Manuel de Jesus? I don't see him either. Um, Marvin. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. All right. Werner. Present teacher. All right. Noemi. Noemi. No. Uh, Yvonne. Present teacher. Daniel. Present teacher. All right. Um, Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto, no. Marlene. No. Ricardo. No. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm just going to make sure I didn't miss anybody. So I have Andres. Edgar, Janet, Francisco Javier, Irene, Juan Francisco, Carla, Manuel Alejandro, Manuel de Jesus, um, Noemi, Jorge, Marlene, and Ricardo are the people that I didn't hear. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, great. So welcome. Welcome, guys. Um, thank you for connecting on time. That's wonderful. Um, eh, you, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, yesterday, I reported the, um, the problem that was in the platform, but I didn't check if they had changed it. Uh, have you guys checked if the, the problem that was in the platform has been solved? Uh -huh. I, I try teacher in the morning, but the problem uh, continues. Oh, okay. Maybe, yeah, because maybe they fixed it like late morning because I reported it in the morning. Um, so let me see. Uh, I tried around 10 o'clock. Uh, what is the one that is not working? I'm sorry. It's a uh, homework 14, which is the one from today. Okay. Uh, number two. Okay. So what you can do, uh, yeah, ahorita acabo de revisar y no, no, no hay ningún, no hay cambio todavía. Okay. So I'll just remind, I'll remember, I'll remind them tomorrow so they can take a look at that. And um, the Monday teacher. No, I will report it tomorrow because they do work tomorrow. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. I will report it tomorrow. Cuando me levante, como por las 12. <laughs> and 
um, I will I will let them know so they can change it. And hopefully on the weekend, you will be able to do that exercise. So right now you don't have to worry about um, about exercise two from today's um, homework, okay? So, déjenlo sin blanco por el momento porque igual, o sea, no, no van a poder um, solucionar eso ahorita. Okay, so, um, let's start. Okay. You guys, oops, can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Great, okay. All right, so this is beginner module five, unit three, troubleshooting. The date is Friday, April 30th. Woo, it's April 30th. Um, so that, that means we are one third of the way to finish the, the year. And it's also payday, so yay. <laughs> okay. We have, we have money this weekend. <laughs> well, at least, you know, money to pay the bills. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, today is day 14, facilitator um, uh, Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so let's take a look at our review. This is a review from last class. So let's take a look here. So we're gonna be working in pairs. Oops, uy, ¿qué pasó acá? <laughs> Sorry, guys, I wasn't supposed to be like that. I was supposed to go, uy, ¿qué pasó? Just give me a second. Huh. Let me just get, okay, just give me one second, guys. Okay, hopefully it will work this time. All right, let's try this again. All right, so we have work in pairs. Um, we're gonna have student A and student B. Student A, you are you, the, the scenario says you are sick and call in to your workplace to explain the situation. Okay, so student A is gonna be the sick person. Okay. Student B, you attend the call and ask your classmate what the matter is. Okay. So you can say that letter student B is going to be like the boss, let's say, okay? Then change roles, okay? So you're gonna switch. Then student B will be the person that's sick and student A will be like the boss that is attending the call, right? Use four to five Id idioms in your conversations. Remember that yesterday we learned some idioms what were the, some of the idioms that you learned? As sick as a dog. Good, as sick as a dog, right? Dog tutu. Okay, what else? Under the weather. Good, feeling under the weather. Good, feeling under the weather. There's something going on? Going around, I'm sorry. There's yeah, something there's going around. There's something going around, right? So it means that you know, there's like some sort of virus that people are getting sick from. What else? Tip top shape. Shape, right? Which means that you are in Lincoln. There were eight of them in total. Oh, there's still like three more that we haven't mentioned. In, in the platform? There were five different. Call it a day, for example. Sorry? In the platform, there were five different ones. For example, call it a day. Call it a day. Okay. Um, yeah. So we can, we can have, like, a, for example, the, okay, call it a day. What does it mean to call it a day? Call it a day is uh, like stop working on something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So call it a day, it means that when you have like a, like some sort of project and you've been working on that project for a long time and then you're like so tired, you say, okay, that's it. 
we're going to stop working there on on this and we're going to call it a day and we're going to work on it another day like yeah does that make sense so a project the project can be anything um it can even be like something you do at home let's say you are you are painting the 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 walls of your home right you're painting and you've been painting and like for like four hours and you're very tired and you say you know what i'm going to bed i'm going to call it a day right or i'm just going to stop doing this we'll call it a day we'll we'll continue tomorrow okay anything else any other vocabulary any other oh. open side, any other idioms yes there was another word another one for example <laughs> break a leg for me was what? Oh, yes, break a leg. What does it mean to break a leg? Is that a bad thing? No. Uh, good, good, look. Uh, good look. Exactly. Okay, so normally break a leg is a bad thing, <laughs> right? If you break uh, yeah. a leg, right, it's not a good thing. But if it used as an idiom, the expression means that it's um something that is a, a good thing like saying like good luck with what you're doing let's break a leg especially if you're going to like perform in front of a, a, a audience or something like that you can say break a leg it means like good luck with your presentation okay. go and break a leg something like that or how would be the way to the uh, expression and no you would say break a leg just simply ah okay simple okay yeah break a leg yeah okay all right so you can use any one of those idioms or other ones that we um we haven't mentioned today but that we talked about yesterday okay and then the other thing i want you guys to do at the end is you're going to present one of the conversation in front of the class just one of them not not both just you can choose okay so are the instructions pretty clear for everybody or do you need more explanation oops sorry do you guys need more explanation no okay okay great uh just give me a moment Give me one moment. All right, so we're going to get you guys to work in group, in pairs, sorry. Um, okay. Um, just give me one second. Okay, all right. Um Okay, so um, we're going to make the, Warner, are you with just one? Just one, Warner, are you there? Escucha. Solo está con uno, creo, ¿verdad? Okay. Um, all right. Let's create. Yes, it's a one. This I'm one, sorry. right? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, so I'm going to get you, I'm, I'm gonna give you 20 minutes to work on this, okay? So I'll give you, that should be more than enough for you guys to create the two conversations okay 
Um, and then you're going to choose one of those conversations to present in front of the class. Okay. So here we go. You can op open up all the rooms. Hello, Francisco. Good evening. Um, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. How are you? Good, good. Uh, Manuel Alejandro, are you there? Manuel Alejandro? Okay. Oh, here, yeah, he already went in there, okay. All right, um, Francisco, we are going to be, um, we're going to be uh, making a conversation with our classmates. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to assign you with a, a part, with a, a group. Okay. No, saben que, sabe que um, hagamos una cosa. Hello. Hi, hey, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Estoy solo con usted. Sí, sí, lo que pasa es que está ahorita en la, en, la, en la sala principal. Le voy a sacar a uno de los, de los integrantes del otro grupo que es de tres para que venga a la sala principal. Ok. Entonces, vamos a ver. Um, le voy a mover a Fabiola. Ok. Voy a traer a Fabiola aquí y, y a que se quede en esta sala. Es ok por mí. Ok, debería de aparecer pronto. Ahí está. Hola, Fabiola. Ay, disculpe que la... <laughs> Fabiola, ¿estás ahí? Your microphone is, is muted. Okay. <laughs> Ay, disculpe, Fabiola, que la, que, que de rep, la, la tuve que, que hablar de su grupo. Es que uh, Francisco is, is um, he just joined and I couldn't create another, another group. And mm -hmm. um, so we're going to keep you guys in this session. Okay. We're gonna, and um, you guys create the conversation, in the main session. If somebody comes, they can join you guys, okay? okay. All right, so you guys um, create the conversation and that way everybody will be in pairs. Okay? The conversation is about what? The conversation, is, I will share the PowerPoint. You see that? Find this question, Mr. Dimby, you turn the call. Now you question the water matters when chance rolls, use point for sync with you. Yes, your conversation pressing along. Okay. Okay, so one of you is going to be the sick person, the other one's going to be the, the boss, and then you're gonna switch. But you have to make sure that you use four to five idioms. Okay. Okay, that's what's important. Four to five idioms that we learned yesterday. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Miss Alguero. This is Anna. Y puedo decir, eh, ay, this is Anna. Y luego, I, I, uh, I, ha, I want to report the situation. No, porque entonces, ¿dónde está el idioma? Ahí, el calling sick. Mm -hmm. Ah, porque yo te voy a preguntar, what's ah. the matter? What, what's wrong or what's the matter? What's, what's going on, Ana? Or what's wrong or what's the matter, Ana? Teacher, y es correcto, I call in sick. So, decir así, no, ¿verdad? 
No. I, I need to call in sick. Pero si ya le estoy llamando. Mm -hmm. Así se dice. Uh, ah, um, you okay. could say, um, or I'm calling in sick. Ah, okay. ajá, se puede usar el ING. Uh, I'm calling in sick. Ah, OK. Entonces, me voy a hagámoslo así. Yeah, I'm calling in so, mm -hmm. I'm calling in sick. Sí, es cierto. I'm calling in sick. Eh, so, the boss, Miss Alguero, who say, Ah, no, porque hay que decir, ¿está enfermo de qué va? Uh, usemos no, otra cosa. Decir, oh, sorry to hear about that. And, and what's the matter? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, correcto. Sorry to hear about that. What's the matter? What's the matter? The matter. Eh, entonces ahí te... Ahí puedo Toma responder... Aquí. No, pero usemos otra cosa. Usemos otra okay. cosa. Eh, usemos... Hmm, headache. Eh, por ejemplo... My... ¿Cómo es la expresión? Eh, ay, ya perdí la. Eh, my... My head is killing me sería ahí. O... Oh. Or oh, I have a headache mm -hmm. killing me. No, no. I, My head is I, killing I, me. Teacher. I got a headache. No, porque supuestamente es algo fuerte. My head is killing, is killing me. Así sería. Yeah, that's okay. fine. Ah, okay. My head is killing me. My head is killing me. Mm -hmm. head is killing me. Mm -hmm. Vaya, llevamos la primera. Anotemos. Ah, no, la segunda. Esa es la segunda. Video. Segundo video. Mm -hmm. Primero, sí. My head is killing me. Eh, y usemos una de... Mm. Dicheri, cuando se usa el a dime dozen, eh, a dime dozen in this season, puedo decir, por ejemplo. Sorry? Y cuando se usa la expresión a dime a dozen, a dozen es para cualquier porque a something is dozen. ahí decía en la en la plataforma a dime a dozen me salió correcto something common la respuesta a dime a dozen a dime a dozen así está en la plataforma a dime a dozen ajá oh uh -huh. ajá ajá uh -huh. Decía que es something common. Yeah, a dime a dozen is, um, yeah, exactly, something that's common. Um, eh, uh -huh. Pero en qué, en qué environment se usa? Something common, like in what? Is a situation happening for everybody or what? Um, you could use, for example, um, uh, you can say that um, um, it's like when you say, um, oh, the idea is like, okay, do you, do you understand what is a dime? A dime is... Mm, es una moneda de diez. Exactly. So, and you understand dozen, right? No. <laughs> no? What is that? Dozen is What? Dozen. Is docena. Una docena, exactly. Ah. That you, you have to give 10, 10 cents or a dime, which is, you know, for 12. And that's super cheap, right? So it's something that you don't need to... Uh, uh it's, it's, it's something that, that doesn't cost a lot, that is... Um, Common in that, uh, in yeah. that way. I understand now. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Something common. Okay. So we cannot use this case? No, no, no. No. Uh, we can... No, it's better it's, to use... Mm -hmm. but, it's, but that's just, I mean... And I can... 
it's just that's what it means right but you can use it in in other ways um just saying like it's it's not it, there's nothing special about it that's what you're saying there's nothing mm. special yeah mm. does that make sense yes i was about for example if i say a dime a thousand in this season no no que feo soy <laughs> Huh? Mejor decir something, something, mejor decir something common in these days. <laughs> yeah, but you say, uh, it's just saying like um, that you can use it, uh, that it, it's just so something you can buy. It's just, or like it's, it's most used for buy some. Uh, no, 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 no. It, no. it just means like what it, the, that's the idea that it conveys is that the fact that you can you know, buy something without any very much money, but you can, um, but what it, what it really means that it's something that is not very special that you can find anywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I got the idea. Yeah. Okay, something that is special. It's better to not understand. special, you can find it anywhere. Mm -hmm. It can be fine from anywhere. Okay. It's better to use it in this way. Okay, so we can write Heidi like um, my head is killing me. Oh, Heidi, Heidi, did you did you get my message? Hello. The your message que le mandé. It's that I don't know. Ah, to change the name, right? Please. No sabe cómo hacerlo, si eso me estaba preguntando a mí con Chile. Si usted ve, uh, cuando usted pone la... la... Vale, se, le, le voy a explicar. Cuando, cuando usted pone... Um, usted está en el celular. Sí, ese es el asunto, que hoy dejé el cable de la laptop en la oficina. Ok, vale, no hay problema. Vale. Eh, no sé si eh, sobre su imagen le aparece o, o en algún lugar le aparecen unos tres puntitos. Yo creería que tiene que ser en tu imagen o en tu, donde dice tu foto, tu participación. Ah, o sea, correcto. O, sea, ya o en la cámara, tal vez. Debería aparecerle como tres puntitos. No me aparece. No, no me sale para cambiar el nombre. Y si me salgo y me vuelvo a conectar, mis, con el nombre correcto. Lo que pasa es que te va a sacar bueno. del room. Sí, pero la puedo mandar de vuelta. Ah, vaya, pues intentarlo. No, solo. Uh -huh. no puedo mandar de vuelta. Saliste y volvete a meter y pones el nombre al principio. Ok, ahorita. ahorita. Okay, I'm going to go and visit the other groups, ok? Not a problem. She, she will be coming soon. Ok, see you soon. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Understand. Hi guys, are you ready? Mm, uh, we're we are writing the conversation, but mm -hmm. uh, in that example, is it's okay. Tell so I'm I'm not feeling well today. I have a headache. My head is killing me. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. How do you say repetitivo? Repetitive. It's not repetitive. Repetitive. Okay. No, because um, uh, because a headache can be different degrees of a headache, right? 
Um, so by saying my head is killing me, you're saying it's a really bad headache. Okay. So it's not just a regular headache, it's really bad. Mm -hmm. Migraine, how do you say migraine? Migraine. 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 Okay. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes, I'm sick as a dog. No, I am a sick as, as a dog. A sick as a dog. Okay. Was. Okay, um, don't worry, ready, take ready? Hello, teacher. No, not yet. Yes. <laughs> not check. Excuse me, I can are hear you. you. Guys, are you guys ready or almost ready? Uh, almost ready. Ready. Almost, almost. Yeah, almost. Almost. All right. Okay, and I respond you. Don't worry, take it easy. Don't worry, Daniel, take it easy. Take Enough. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, the I, I respond, uh, okay. Uh, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, boss, or thank you, Miss Moreno. I don't know. Uh, thank you. Are you Are you guys ready or almost ready? Almost ready, teacher. Almost ready. Okay. Yes. All right. Good. I'll see you in a bit then. Uh, teacher, teacher, uh, a question. Uh, I I want to use the expression uh, something going around but in past. Uh, it's correct to say there was something going around. Yeah. 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 There was something going around. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Juan Francisco, uh, what did you say? Thank you, Miss Moreno. Ah, okay, thank you, Miss yeah. Moreno. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Miss Moreno. See you on Monday. Uh huh. I hope to see you on Monday. Okay. And that's all. Uh, we can can we practice? Okay. okay. Good morning. This is Miss Moreno. Hello, Miss Moreno. I Hi. Hi, Naomi. Hi, teacher. Are you guys ready? Christine. Are you ready? Teacher, um, I'm sorry, but uh, I just uh, was recent in entered a class. Oh, okay. But, but no, cuando estaba medio explicando, yo no terminé de entender. Y ayer no ingresé. Entonces no, no seguí. Y Manuel viene. Manuel driving. He's driving. Ok. Uh, ok. Bueno. Um, did, ok. Did you see the class? Did you mm. see the class yesterday? The video? Mm, uh, no, I don't have a time, but. Um, the, this day is present the taxes. The on, 
pre, uh, present taxes. Oh, uh, have time, but see the, the video. Hello, Grever. Yeah, this didn't even tarde. Yeah, I, I, I understand. Yeah, it's. Sí. Yo, eh, mañana sí. Pero, okay. O sea que eh, hoy sí ya, ya, ya terminó, ¿verdad? El, el, hoy, hoy terminó el, 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 el ciclo de. El, 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 ¿cómo, es, ¿Cómo se llama la, la, el caos? Ya, sí, ahora. Ahora. Ok. Ok. All right, that's fine then. Um, ok, so I just. Hopefully tomorrow, then you can look, you can see the video. Yeah, tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, I, I see. Okay, good, good, good. Pichel. Right. Hi. Hi, Pichel. Hi, Alejandro. Um, uh, excuse me. Eh, eh, I don't know. Eh, connect to the cloud for the, the traffic. Yeah, but I really appreciate that you connected. Um, how are you going with the traffic? No, I don't hear. Me dijo que iba para los por los chorros para Santana. Sí, sí, es que, ajá, me, es que me puso un mensajito. Eh, Yo estaba leyendo el, el libro de la, la página de ella. Entiendo que es. ¿no? es. Ok. Uh, do you have any questions? Good mm, morning. Uh, I'm not understanding the page 44, 34. 34. 34. What I I'm doing. I do. Oh, that's because we're going to see that class today. Ah, okay. That's, that's why you don't understand it. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're going, yeah, today, I'm oh, sorry, today we're going to see 35 and 36. And yes, yesterday we saw 33 and 34. Ah, okay. Huh? Okay. This last page. Okay. 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 I'm so, page. This page. Good. Good. You're you're ahead. That's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll see you in a bit. Thank you. Except. Mm -hmm. Hi guys. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to right now close the other groups, so they're going to start coming in. Les aviso de antemano para que no se me asusten que de repente todo el mundo empiece a entrar. De acuerdo, ya no decimos nada extraño. <laughs> okay. ¿Qué pasó, Heidi? Did you disconnect? I had a Wi-Fi problem. Oh. Okay. We can hear you now. Hola. Okay. Everybody can hear me? Yes, yeah. teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right. So um, let's uh, let's start with the with the presentations. So we'll start with group number one, which is um, Melissa and Manuel de Jesus. Okay.
Bueno, él quiere que leamos su conversación. Manuel. Manuel, you're muted. We can't hear you. Okay. Okay, Manuel. I'm going to start with your conversation. Okay. Okay. Good morning. This is Melissa. I am Manuel. Uh, I am a sick as dog. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Manuel. I have what, a... what what do you have, Manuel? Uh, I have a head and fever. That's so bad. Please stay at home, get well soon, and see you tomorrow if you feel better. Thanks a lot, Miss Melissa. Have a nice day. Thank you. All right, very good. Excellent. Okay. Very, very good. Okay. Um, let's move on to group number two, which is Ana Claudia and Haiti. Okay. Uh, uh, good morning. This is Haiti. Hey, Miss Alguero. This is Ana. I'm calling in. I'm calling in sick. Um, so sorry to hear about that. And what's the matter? My head is killing me. Oh, take it easy, Ana. Drink a lot of water and sleep. You'll be in tip top shape soon. Thank you, Miss Alguero. Okay. All right, guys, girls, very good. Excellent. Okay. All right. Um, let's move on to group number three. Let me just see. Hold, just give me a moment. Uh, that would be Josue, Alberto, and Warner. Okay, so. Sorry. Just give me a second. Okay. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Salas. Uh, Warner, mm. are you there? Se, se escucha? Yeah, we can hear you right now. Yeah, now. Se... Give, give me a moment, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good morning. This is Mr. Salas. Hello, Mr. Salas. This is Werner. How the situation? Hello, Werner. Tell me, what's the matter? Uh, I am not feeling well today. I have a, um, I have to, my head is killing me. Okay, I understand, Werner. A couple of days ago, I'm feeling under the water. Oh, really? Did you felt it as a dot? Oh yeah, but now I'm in tip top shape. I am happy to hear that, Mr. Salad. Oh, thank you a lot. Okay. All right, very good guys. Bravo, excellent. Okay, very good. All right, let's now hear Juan Francisco and Yvonne. Okay. Good morning. This is Miss Moreno. Hello, Miss Moreno. I am Juan Francisco. I had a problem. Hello, Juan Francisco. What's the matter with you? I know feeling well. Uh, I am as sick as a dog. My head is killing me. Okay, I understand you. Some weeks ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Really? Yes, all my family was sick at the same time. 
maybe there was something uh, going around. Yes, but now we are in tip top shape. Don't worry, Juan Francisco. I hope that you get well soon. Please go to the doctor and rest enough. Okay, thanks, Miss Moreno. I hope to see you on Monday. Okay, goodbye, Juan Francisco. Take care. Okay, thank and that's you. all. <laughs> all right, very good. Excellent. Very good job. Okay. Now let's go with um let's see Daniel and Luis. Yes. Daniel, are you ready? Yeah. Daniel. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Good morning. This is Mr. Romero. Hello, Mr. Romero. This is Daniel. I have a uh, issue. Hi, Daniel. How are you? Tell me, what's the matter? <clears throat> I am feeling bad today. My leg is killing me because yesterday I had a small accident at home when I was coming from home. Uh, sorry, from work. <laughs> oh, it sounds too bad. But then, are you okay? No, I am as sick as, as a dog. Don't worry, Daniel, take it easy, I understand. You should go to the doctor. Thanks, I will go to the doctor. Okay, okay. thanks for this call in sick. I hope to get better. Okay, thanks, have a nice day, bye. Thank you, Daniel, bye. All right. Good night, teacher. Very good, guys. Excellent job. Very good. Okay. Next would be um, Francisco Javier and Fabiola. Okay. Hello, Fabiola. How are you today? Hello, Javier. I'm not feeling good today. I'm as sick as a I'm as sick as a dog. Really? That's not good. Yeah, I have a headache. is horrible. Horrible. I understand. Yesterday ago, I'm not feeling good too. What happened? Having a flu, I was feeling under the weather too. <clears throat> oh, really? There is something going around. Are you sure there isn't COVID? Yeah, I'm sure there isn't. My clinic test is negative. Fabiola, I hope you are feeling better today. Yes, thanks, Dr. Shep. Okay, bye bye. Okay, bye. Very good, guys. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I, 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 I hope um, I, I, you guys were not love, you know, uh, deaf. There was yeah. a big um, thunders. Even scared me. <laughs> okay. Um, very good, guys. Excellent. Um, let's move on to the next, which would be. Group number seven, that's uh, Marvin and Wendy. Okay. Hey, teacher, Wendy, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Good morning, I am Marvin. Hello, Marvin, what's the matter? I came to inform that I can't go into work. My body are killing me, boss. Oh, really? Do you not feeling well? No, I am very sick. I have feel congest. I can't breathe. Okay, take it easy. Go to the doctor, please, and to rest. Thank you, boss. You are the best. I know. <laughs> Take care. 
All right. I'm very, good. Teacher. <laughs> very good. I, I love that part. I love the part. Yeah, I know. I'm the best. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, question, Marvin, what did you say? What was the problem? Uh, my killing, my body is killing me. I have feel congest. I can't breathe. What did you say after that? Uh, after that, I can't breathe. No puedo respirar. Okay, I can't breathe. Okay, okay, got it. Excellent. Correct. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's just I couldn't hear. Um, oh, but okay. can you hear me okay? Because there's a big storm right now in my in, in my house. So I just want to know if you guys can hear me. Yeah, I hear you. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. All right. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because like I said, there's a big storm right now. Okay. Um, Teacher, I can yeah. hear you. You can't hear me? No, teacher. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a question for you guys. How do you say dolor de estomago in English? Stomach. 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 Okay. Stomach. Okay. What you guys are what you guys are saying is just estomago. But I want dolor. Stomach ish. Oh, stomach ish. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to write it in the chat. Stomach ish. Where are they use in the in the conversation? Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just I'm 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 just I'm just I'm using your vocabulary. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so stomach ache. Actually, it should be together. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Cake, mm -hmm. like uh... teacher and say I uh, dolor de cabeza is headache. Headache. Yeah, I, but just give me a moment. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Um, okay. The, there's a reason why I'm asking you guys this because I want to I want to make sure that you guys know the pronunciation to this. Okay. Um, it's actually yeah. Give me one second. Yeah. Okay. So actually. It's stomach ache, it's together, okay? So it's not stomach ache, it's actually stom stomach ache together. But, but there's a reason why I'm telling you guys this. And the reason is because, remember what I told you about the letter C and the letter H? That sometimes it's pronounced CH, and sometimes it's pronounced K. And in this case, they are both pronounced, the, the two CHs are pronounced K. So it should be stomach ache. Okay. Stomach ache. ache. Okay. Stomach ache. So if you want to hear it like phonetically, it should be like this stomach ache. Um, stomach ache. But phonetically speaking, it's like this. Stomach I just wrote it in the chat. Okay, it's phonetically speaking. Oh, actually, no, sorry. It's phonetically is with an A. So. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. It's actually more like a, the A, stomach. So stomach cake. If you want to hear like phonetically. Stomach. Okay. Stomach cake. All right. So lo, lo voy a escribir igual. Ah, es con A al principio. Stomach. Yeah. Stomach. Stomach. Oh no stomach. It's, it's, not some, it's not stomach. 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 Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Okay. All right. Como production. So, Esa palabra no se me va a olvidar. Yo. 
<laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, so just, just be careful. Now, the same thing is with the, you say headache, headache. Okay. It's a, the sound is the cook, right? Headache. Okay. The same thing with the backache. Ache just means pain. So you can have, you can have a headache, a stomach ache, a backache, a body ache. Dolor de cuerpo, body ache. Okay. Athletic. No, no, oh. no, just those, just those four. Headache, stomach ache, back ache, and body ache. Okay. All right, very good, guys. Um, good. So let's continue here. Um, I, so I, I think everybody has has uh, presented. Uh, it's time for our next um, our next um, attendance check. So let me take attendance here. Okay. So we have um, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Great. Andres. Andres, no. Uh, Edgar. Edgar, no. Uh, Elsie. Elsie Janet. No. Okay. Uh, Fabiola. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Francisco Javier. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Heidi. Present teacher. Great. Irene. Irene? No. Um, Josué Alberto. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco? Yes, and teacher. Good. Uh, Carla. Carla? No? No, Carla. Okay. Uh, Melissa? Present teacher. All right. Uh, Luis? Present teacher. All right. Uh, Manuel Alejandro? Manuel Alejandro. Okay, I think he's maybe he's driving. Okay, um, Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. Okay, wonderful. Wendy. Present teacher. All right, Warner. Present teacher. All right. Eh, soy la Noemi. Present. All right. So, uh, question, uh, Noemi. Estuvo, I, I, estuvo ayer en clase, no, verdad? No. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Um. Okay. Um, Yvonne? Present teacher. Okay. Oh, hello, Edgar. Welcome. Sorry, teacher. Este, tuve un inconveniente y no tenía internet. Entonces, hasta ahorita, aquí con, porque estoy fuera de casa. Okay. Okay. It's okay. But thank you for connecting. I really appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. All right. Daniel? Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Jorge. Marlene. Ricardo. Okay. Vaya, pues entonces creo que tengo ya todos los que están acá. All right, so teacher, let's. I hear huh? still here. <laughs> no, le, no, ya me sonó. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. Marvin. Present teacher. Yay. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Okay. So um, let's 
let's continue here with our class. Okay. So let's look at our conversation. First thing is let's discuss these questions. Who is the person who fixed damaged equipment? The technician. Yeah, technician. Okay. What are some pieces of equipment you have trouble with? Like in your workplace, what are some pieces of equipment you have problems with? Anything? Or all the access. Sorry? Access fun. Perdone, creo que hablaron dos al mismo tiempo. I didn't hear very well. Can you repeat? Oh, I think you, you said something? Yeah, this UPS fan in the computer. Oh, okay, okay, good, all right. What else? Red cables. Okay, good. What else? Any other equipment? Teacher, uh, there is correct uh, to say cable or car? Um, it, it depends. But um, if it's something that connects, like um, a cable is usually something that, how can I say, that has like two parts that connect, right? From one thing to the other. That's usually a cable. Um, so probably, yeah, cable would probably be the best thing if you're talking, for example, about um, about computers or things like that. Whereas cord is more like um, it's more general, right? Just like a, a big string, right? That's a cord. All right. Does that make sense? Okay, that's yeah, but um, some technical vocabulary. Um, the word core is more used. Um, you can, like I said, it depends. It really depends on what you're talking about, right? Um, like I said, if you're talking about a computer, it would be more a cable, right? But it depends on the machinery, right? Because board is more like general. Does that, make okay. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, anything else that you have trouble? You have you have trouble with? No. Uh, in my Probably. case, a teacher, yeah. we have a lot of uh, industrial machines. Uh -huh. And I heard about two parts uh, that have problem in, in the machine that uh, is a looper and a spreader. That's the name of the, of the part of, of, of the machines. Oh, OK. OK, interesting. All right, sounds good. Thanks for sharing. Any other any other machines or parts of machines that you have problems with? No? No? So everybody everybody is okay with the machinery at work. Okay. Um CPU. Okay, the CPU. You have problems with the CPU. Yeah, sometimes I do too. Okay, good. So today we're gonna be having a conversation between Dave and Tom. Okay, so Dave and Tom are fixing this machine, okay? 
and let's see what happens in their conversation. So we have, uh, I'd like you to listen and repeat after me. Here we go. Tom, I need your help. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? Can you Can just pass me that spanner, spanner, please? please? I need to tighten up the screw. I need to tighten up the screw. 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 Good. Okay. Like thing. Sure. Here you go. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Look. 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 Did Kit clean up? Did he clean, clean, clean up the room before he left? The room, the room before, he before, before he left. I thought that it was something like that. I thought that it was something like that. And when I came back, I saw that it was like that. How did you feel the guy? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, he did. Yes, yes, he is. I know he did. I know he did. Because I asked him. Because, because I asked him. I asked him. To switch off the power. To switch, to switch off, off, the power. off the power. Great. 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 By the way, by the way, did you call up the electrician? Did, did you, you call up the electrician? electrician? The engine doesn't stop. The, the engine, engine doesn't stop. stop. To turn off. To, to turn, turn off. off. And now we have a problem. And now, and now we, we have, have a problem. problem. Yeah. 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 I think that if you don't oil it regularly, I think, I think that, that if you don't, you don't oil, oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. It will eventually. Eventually. Seize. Seize. It will seize up eventually. Seize up eventually. 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 That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Good. All right. Very, very good, guys. Um, okay, questions about the pronunciation, just the pronunciation. Fixing, fixing, fixing up. Correct, Sorry? fixing up. It's Sorry? Up. It's up. Okay, yeah. Um, so this is seize up. Seize up. Seize up. Seize up. Yes. Tick ting. Tick ting. Anything else? No, everything is clear. Everything, all the other vocabulary is clear. It should. Oh, uh, sure. Pick thing up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're asking about this word. 
the word is pronounced, or the 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 ver verb is pronounced. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Yeah. Tighten up. Very good. Anything else? Any other vocabulary? Teacher, and the word oil it is one song. Okay, uh, right now, right now we're just going to look at the vocabulary. Sorry, the the pronunciation. Right now, we'll we'll look at vocabulary in a moment. But in, any problems with the pronunciation at this moment? Regularly, is that the correct way? Regularly. Regularly. Reg regularly. Yes. Regularly. Regularly. Extendida la al principio. Regularly. 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 Okay. Yeah. Anything else? So everything else, all the other vocabulary is clear? Yeah? Okay. Escribo. Um, okay, yeah. This word is pronounced screw. 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 Yes. Screw. Screw. Anything else? No? Only about the pronunciation, right? Pronunciation in this moment. Okay. Oh. Enter. Sorry? Again? Enner. Enner. It's B A N N E R. Enner. Oh, this one. Spanner. Spanner. Anything else? There, you're okay with that? With pronunciation, yes. Yeah? Okay. Um, okay, so let's now go into vocabulary. So let's, um, you can go ahead and ask me questions about the vocabulary. Spanner, what's the meaning of that? Okay, good. All right, so. Okay. okay, so we're looking at the word spanner. And spanner is actually the British form of, right, of saying a wrench. Okay, so. A spanner is the same thing as a wrench. Wrench. Yeah. Spanner, so spanner is the same. Hold on. It's the same as wrench. Wrench. Do you understand what a wrench is? No, teacher. <laughs> no? <laughs> no. No, teacher. I, okay. I heard ranch, ranch. <laughs> no ranch, ranch, no, no. no. Ranch. Ranch, ranch. A wrench is... Uh, ranch. Huh? Okay, a wrench is... Um, 
it's it's used to fix something and to hold a piece in se mira como que fuera un, un como no sé como un tenedor o no como un como un trinco algo así um, and then what it does is it holds something in place so you can you can go like this to make it bigger sorry to make it bigger or smaller yeah so it it, it and, and what it does is it holds something in place. So if you want to have this hold it in place, it holds it in place by opening and making this bigger or making this smaller. Ya ve inglesa, lo busqué mejor en el Google. Porque no le hallaba. Una llave. Ah, una llave inglesa, exacto. Ok. Todos sí saben que es una llave inglesa. inglesa. Ah, buscando la imagen, estoy. Ah, ok, está bueno, está bueno. Porque yo no sé qué es, o sea. Compártala. Ok, ya. Yes. Vamos a ver. No, I'm going, yeah. Just... Busca la tish. Ah, es esa cosa que se va ya en la casa de todos, creo que está. Usually for. Uh... For, um, for para pipe. apretar cosas ¿no? yeah. para darle vuelta cangreja ajá la así se conoce cangreja. como cangreja la famosa cangreja <risa> es una cangreja hay de dos formas ajá aquí se viendo que hay de dos formas okay that's that's what it is spanner okay you can all, yeah you can also have a spanner that looks like this um sometimes sometimes the it, it, it looks like this too okay it so is. it depends yeah so this one can also be a spanner mm -hmm. yeah okay now we got it all right good um all right, so let's continue here. Uh, any other vocabulary that you don't understand? Tighten up. Tighten up, okay. Tighten up means to uh, make something very tight. Okay. So something can be very loose and then you can make something very tight, right? Do you understand tighten? Apretar. No. Apretar. Exactly. Okay, what else? What other vocabulary? Screw. Screw. A screw is like a nail, but you have to go like this, right? Un tornillo. En, y el aparato del destornillador, yo pues juraba que eso era. Es a screwer. Screwer, yeah. Ah, ok, ok. Screwer, exacto. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, the meaning of the sentence here you go is like uh, in Spanish, ahí te va. Yeah, ahí te va o aquí tienes. It's more like aquí tienes. Pero yeah, you could say aquí te va, right? Uh -huh. but, but yes, it's more like aquí tienes. Uh, I have a doubt why uh, the usage of clean up. Clean up is the verb, is a... To clean is the verb to... But when we use it together with up, is because the meaning is the same or what? Um, no. Like an expression. It's a little bit different. Um, clean up means more like you made the mess and now you're going, you're going to make ah. everything put back like back. it's supposed to be. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
That's what it means. All right. So it's it's more about making a mess. Okay. So clean is more like limpiar. Okay. Clean up is more like um, arreglar. Ordenar. Ordenar. Ajá, ordenar, arreglar. O sea, tiene la idea, conlleva la idea de que estaba ordenado, estaba bonito, estaba todo. Y después usted puso todos para arriba y ahora tiene que volver a ponerlo como estaba. Teacher, is correct clean up my deck? My deck? Yeah. D-E-C-K? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Anything else? Teacher, these are the famous phrasal verb. Ah, yes. Okay. Yes, they are. <laughs> uh, I, I love how you say it. They are the famous phrasal verbs. <laughs> Yes. Anything else? Switch off. Switch off means to connect. Switch off. Yeah. Switch off. Exactly. Um, it means like turn off, similar to turn off. Uh -huh. and, uh, that was uh, the, the thing I wanted to ask you. For example, uh, when you leave a room that the lights are on, you say turn off the lights. Mm -hmm. You cannot say switch off the lights. You say turn no, off the lights. It's fine. When you talk about a plot something. It you usually say means that there's off. a switch. Switch is um, un interruptor. Interru interruptor. Interruptor. Mm -hmm. So switch off literally means like you're going to whoop, um, put like a power on, on the on the, on the switch. Mm -hmm. And then you can say switch off the lights. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Any other vocabulary? Teacher, what what is the difference uh, with call up the electrician and call the electrician? Can I say that in both ways? Yeah, you could. Um, yeah. A call up is more informal though and it just mean it kind of means like um hold on let me just think about this call i'm trying to think of how we would what would be the difference of, of using the call and just call up um I think call up would, we normally use the call up when um, when it's something that we decide in the moment. So it's a little more informal. It's not something really planned. Does that make sense? And, and it usually, Does that make sense or no? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more like, so if you can say, I'm going, I'm going to call, like if you promise somebody, you can say, okay, don't worry, I'm going to call you. We normally don't say I'm going to call you up. Um, call up is more when you use when you call you you telephone somebody and you make the decision in the moment. It's not so much planned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, any other vocabulary that you don't understand? Which one? Engine. Try 
और सी सॉस ओह सी सॉस um engine um the engine is the part of of a machine that makes the machine work right so it's like it's like the motor of the of the and of the machine that's the engine it's the mechanical part that makes the machine work similar model sorry similar what motor motor motor, motor yeah uh huh exactly anything else say so Size up. Oh yes, size um size up. Um, sorry, seize up. Seize up. Seize up. Seize up means to um um like to get stuck. Yeah, like to get stuck and. It, to get stuck and not be able to work anymore. Yeah? Does that make sense or no? Mm, como trabado. Uh-huh. Kind of, yeah. Um, yeah, like, but th that it gets so stuck that you cannot, you, you, you can't get it to move anymore. Yeah? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. right. So it literally stops moving because the parts cannot, they're stuck, right? You, you cannot make them run again. So they're just boom, they shut off and you can't get it to move, right? So the, the machine, the engine cannot continue running. Anything else? No? Okay. All right, guys. So, uh, all right. So, what I'm going to do is get you guys to practice the conversation, this is the conversation we have here. And I need you guys to discuss these questions. What seems to be the problem? What kinds of jobs do you think Dave and Tom have? Who is in charge of checking the machinery and equipment at the workplace? So practice the conversation and then answer these questions. All right, so let's... Um, all right, so let me stop sharing here. And we're going to get you guys to go into groups again. Um, sorry, in pairs, sorry, it's, it will be in pairs. Um, Warner, you are, you are in two, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, all right, I think I have everybody so um. So I'm gonna, I'm only gonna give you about five minutes, okay? So let's open all the rooms, go ahead and join your group.
Manuel Alejandro, Edgar, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Manuel Alejandro, Edgar. to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kip clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to reach off the door. Great, by the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn up and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. That's correct. My mother to, to start. Tom, I need your help. Can you please? That's correct. Teacher, welcome. Okay. I'm Dave. <laughs> okay. And teacher is our teacher. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> uh, nothing. That uh, you have a beautiful hair. It, it that is all. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Tom. I need your help. Can you pause me with that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Uh, thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he didn't. I know he didn't because I asked him to switch up the power. Great. By the way, did you call up? Uh... What kind of job statement do you have? Um... They are, they are, I don't know what they are. Uh, I don't know. One of them must be an engineer, what do you think? Yeah, maybe, and the other one uh, could be the operator of the machine. Mm. Uh, so, They tighten up, tighten up, tighten, tighten up, tighten up the screw. Sure, here you go. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Look, did he clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked asked him uh, asking asking to switch us the power. Great. By the way, did you call up call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah. I think that if you don't oil, oil it regularly. The way, did you call up uh, the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it is side up, side, size up eventually. That's correct. Okay, um, it comes from the question. 
Or what seems to be the problem? Remember that it's not si it size up, it's seize up. Size up. Seize up. Seize oh. up. Seize up event eventually. Eventually. That's correct. Uh, teacher, the, what is the pronunciation? Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Okay. Tighten up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Answer the questions. What um, what seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? I think if you don't don't know. there are encargados de la flota de vehículos in charge. Of a uh, vehicle, mm. we are mechanic. Mm -hmm. Maybe how do you say camiones? <coughs> Trucks, <coughs> no. Trucks, trucks. Oh, but is trucks or, or cars or vehicles? Vehicles, como pickup. Mm -hmm. Or cars. Oh. Uh, if we are department. Oh, department in the personnel state. Part de eso, eh, they need to they need to synchronize the information uh, with an app. Uh, so great. Mm -hmm, it's a yes. But I need to. I need one. I need only one. <laughs> those yes. are only we, well, my boss. We, <laughs> we sell those just inside U.S. and Canada. We don't sell to Latin uh, America. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, so okay. yes, see, so. teacher, we've been talking with Werner. We have a doubt when some uh, frosal verbs, I don't know if most of them, when use the word of, is with a double F. Or because we got confused when we see the of with double F, I don't know if the pronunciation is the same that one, with one F, no. No, they are two different words, two different meanings, and uh, they have pronunciation that is very different. Um, when it's just with one, when, when it's with two Fs, mm -hmm. it's off. With F, okay. Double, double F. Aha, uh -huh, yes. The pronunciation oh. is stressing oh, F. Yes, off. Oh. Whereas when it's only one F, we uh -huh. say of. Of. It sounds like a V. Okay. Of. Okay. Okay. And the of with double F always will be used uh, to make a frustral bear or can be used right. alone. Repeat, please. Yes, the off with a double F can be used uh, alone in a sentence. Like uh, it, not uh, after a, a verb to make a, a different meaning can be used as a simple word of, no. Ah, okay. Always will be together. Ah, okay. With a yeah. verb, yeah, with a verb, with a verb, to make it, to make it a phrasal verb. Ah, phrasal. Okay. not phrasal, but phrasal. Phrasal. Okay, voy a anotarlo. 
<ríe> Ay, es que eso como latinos somos bien marcados. Praise sale. Praise and bear. Praise and bear. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Okay. I'll see you guys okay. in the main room. Okay. Okay. Uh, teacher. Ya nos quedó claro. <ríe> Uh, yes. The other question, um, uh, the, pronunciation, the pronunciation, the the um, uh, muscle contracture, oh, uh, contractura muscular, muscle contraction, Mus muscle contractures, muscle contraction, okay, muscle contracture. Okay. That is something of your job, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's well, it. Like, like, right. The teacher is here. <laughs> yes, exactly. My, it is for, for my um, athletics, it's uh, problems. Oh, contracted, okay. Contracted, uh, yeah, muscle, muscle contractors. Muscle. Yeah. muscle. Muscle contraction. Muscle contra contra oh, okay. contraction. 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 Okay, yeah, contraction. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm kind of feeling the same way too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not joking. It's que de tanto estar sentada la misma posición, my back is feeling. Yes. Yo le admiro si dice usted yes. que trabaja en el día y trabaja en la noche y todavía tiene que preparar las clases. Se prepara. Yeah. Ay no. Por no. estar sentada, teacher, se hacen estos tipos de ejercicio. Bueno, bueno no tiene la cámara. No, eso es lo que <laughs> le pregunta. Es, es. Sí, o sea, ajá. Ya, ah, eso acá. ayuda. Pues. Sí. sí. Solo que ahorita acá. no está no, no, eso. Lo sé, acá o se toma el, el costado de, de, eh, de esto y gira Ajá. al lado opuesto. Ajá. Ay, acá gracias. Es para la espalda. Para la espalda. Tomas el otro sector. Sí, acá. yo, de hecho, con, en, y giras eh, al lado contrario. Es una pequeña presión. Ajá, pues de hecho, oh. cuando estoy, o sea, en el de, otro de manos, es, es, es presión hacia atrás y después presión hacia, hacia adentro. Oh, qué bueno. Y ese es, Max, de hecho, que también tú giras acá y presión, o sea, con esto empujas y después haces presión al lado contrario para que el músculo, el esternocleidomastoideo, que es este, yeah. se, eh, se tense. Yeah. Para evitar... Eh, I, I crack my neck. Yeah, I crack my muscle. neck all the time, so I'm just like doing this all the time. Oh, no. <laughs> no, my cell phone. Uh, sorry, teacher, se murió mi teléfono de, de battery. Oh, por eso que te fuiste de la... Bueno, pero yes. ya te vimos. <laughs> ya te vimos, gracias. Ya no tiene la clase de, de, ah, de, de ejercicio. Uh, de ejercicio. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, like, I, during my other job, I do do um, stretches, but because no one's looking at me. Mm -hmm. But in this class, I can't because, you know, the, I'm recording, so uh -huh. I can't do that. But yeah, I, I, sometimes I need to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start practicing those. I didn't know that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I'm here in front of the other computer nine, ten hours a day. Mm -hmm. I try to stand up, make something that no, sometimes you need to be I know. in front of the computer. Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye now. Okay, bye bye. Hello. Hello. Um, ¿Qué le pasó, Manuel? Tuvo problemas de, con internet. Así uh, es, se me terminó la batería y este también de me quedó sin me quedé sin batería. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Bueno, lo bueno es que, que ya ya regresó. Sí, estaba queriéndome conectar desde otro dispositivo y ya no pude. Mm, that's okay. That happens. Okay. So guys, um, good. Let's work. We just have a few minutes left. So we're going to quickly check the answers to this. So first question, what seems to be the problem? 
The engine doesn't stop to turn off? Yes, very good. So the engine continues running so we can turn off the, the, the machine, right? Mm -hmm. What jobs do you think Jabe and Tom have? I think they're, they're, they are mechanics. Mm -hmm. Maintenance, me, maintenance mechanic. Okay. Maintenance stuff. Okay. Might be operator. Could be operators, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, all of those answers are valid. Okay. And mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. an equipment at your work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Uh, in my case, teacher, yeah. it depends about the machines because if you have problems with the computers, you have to call up uh, the IT department. And if you have uh, mechanic problems in the machines that it, that are in the production production floor, uh, you have to call up to the mechanic department. And if you have a electrical problem, you have to call to maintenance department. Oh, okay. Okay. So um, it all depends then on who, what, what the problem is, right? Yes, yes. Okay, okay I see. Okay, um, good, good. What we're going to do now is uh, we're actually going to be talking a little bit about um, the vocabulary that we've seen right here, okay? With the, but the vocabulary with um, the, new, the new verbs, okay? And in fact, these new verbs are what we call, it's what we call phrasal verbs, okay? So these phrasal verbs, um, I need a volunteer to help me read this. Who can help me read? I, think I can, teacher. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, let's, let's hear Marvin. I haven't heard Marvin um, today. So maybe Marvin, you can help us. The later field. Uh, okay, teacher. Some birds are two par birds. They consist on a bird and a participle. Particle. 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 Particle or a small word like a preposition. The particle often give a new meaning to the bird. For example, take close after he takes after his father. He looks like his father or he behaves like his father. Kel plus af, Mary called off the me meeting. Mary cancel the meeting. Thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Marvin, excellent. Okay, so pretty much these are, this is new vocabulary because these are new verbs. Normally, we just have the verb is only one word, but if you have the verb and another part that is like a preposition, if you put those two words together, they create what we call phrasal verbs. Not phrasal, but phrasal, phrasal verbs. And so this, this creates a new word. Just think of the word turn. Turn. What does it mean, turn, in Spanish? Turn. Turn. Girar. Girar, exactly. So just turn is girar. But if you say turn off, what does it mean? Apagar. 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 If you say turn on, what does it mean? Encender. There. And turn up. Levantar. 
right? Mm -hmm. To read, aha, uh -huh. exactly. So it's gonna change the meaning. Turn down, bahar, right? So it's gonna change the meaning of the word. So gira, so just turn, girar. But if you say, turn on, turn off, turn up, turn down, it changes the meaning completely. The same thing happens here. For example, take. What is take? Just take. Tomar. 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 Huh? Take is tomar. Okay, good. But if you put take after, the after means look like or behave like. So, um, oh, hold on. So, take take after means to look like or behave like. Okay? That's the meaning of take after. So, if you say he takes after his father, it means he looks like his father or he behaves like his father. How do you say take after in Spanish? Huh? You say Twitter. Take after. What? Take um, after, I, I understand it's like cuidar. Cuidar. Oh. oh, it's take care. Take care. Uh, oh, that's take care. You're right. Mm -hmm. But look at take after. And when it says behaves like his father, we're talking of, a, for example, if he's an angry person or happy person, something like that. No. Um, Behavior. Behavior is el comportamiento. Como actúa como su papá. Actúa, pero es que hay una forma que está en Son como los gestos. Como los gestos que hacen los mismos gestos. Ajá. Pero es que, pero hay, un, es que hay una expresión que se utiliza en español ahorita se me está. Igual a su tata. Tal palo, tal astilla. Énticos. Tal palo, tal astilla, teacher. Igual estillos, igual estillos. Okay. You have the idea. <laughs> por eso, pero en español se utiliza, por ejemplo, si el papá es enojado, uno dice, y el hijo es enojado, uno dice, igual al papá. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Cortado uh -huh. con la misma tijera. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Uh, uh, the idea. Ahorita no se me viene a la mente el, lo que en sí. La, lo... Pero la pregunta es, ¿es solo por behavior o también por looks like, physically? Ah, ok. Es como cuando uno se parece. Se parece. Ok. Ah, pues sí, idéntico. Okay. <risa> El pico es la... Uh -huh, ok. All right. Anyways, um, and then we have call off. Right? What does it mean to call off? Well, just call means... Llamar. Llamar. And call off means... Cancel. Cancel. Ok. So Mary called off the meeting means Mary canceled the meeting. Okay. okay. All right. Um, so let's match the verbs with the prepositions here. Try to figure out what are the prepositions that we're going to be using. For example, we say tighten up. Then when we're going to switch, we're going to switch off or switch up. Okay. So switch, switch off. Okay, I want you guys to do this and then we're going to check in. Switch yeah. off. But right, right now, just I'll give you guys like a minute to, to do it individually and then you're going to give me the answers. Switch off. Thank you. 
Okay, you guys ready? Yes. Ready, Miss. Okay. Yes. So switch. Oh, switch off. Switch off. Uh, switch off. off. Oh. Yeah. Clean up. Clean up. Okay, clean up. See up. up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. And call up. Very good. All right. Excellent. Okay. Now let's use this vocabulary to complete this. For example, can you pass me that spanner? I need to tighten up. This. So I want you to complete with the correct word. For for number two, three, four, five, six. It shouldn't, sorry, it shouldn't take you too long. Okay. Yeah, ya ustedes saben qué significa cada uno. It shouldn't take you too long. Oh, sorry. The workshop. Okay. Okay. Are you guys ready or do you need more time? Yeah. I can see that. Anybody ready. need more time? I give him more time. Nobody needs more time? Yes. Let's, let's do it. Uh, Haiti, help me with number two. This workshop is very dirty. Let's Clean up this place. Clean up this place. Good. All right. Number three. Let's have um, Edgar. Can you help us with number three? Um, remember to mm, the power before you remove the machine. We can't hear you at that. Sorry, teacher. Okay. Oh. El resto, okay. No veo el resto de la oración. Remember to. Okay, remember to, and we, we need to complete the power before you remove the machine. Uh, what do you do with the power? Uh, the power uh, uh, turn turn up. There, turn what? Turn turn up. Turn up or turn off? Turn turn off. Sorry. Good. Turn off. Excellent. All right. Good. Um, Juan Francisco, help us with number four. Juan Francisco? Uh, switch off. What was that? No, I, I think turn off. Turn off? Uh, oh, you know what? You're right. Yes, because the three, number three will be switch off. Yeah. Then this is turn off. Yeah, you're absolutely right. This one would be switch off. Because we um, we use a switch. Un interruptor, interruptor, sí, sí se dice verdad. Okay. Interruptor. Interruptor. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Um, okay, number five, let's have um, Fabiola. Help us with number five, Fabiola. Say up. Give me the whole sentence. Read the whole sentence for me. If you don't work at the start of machine regularly, they will. This up. Good. Very good. All right. And finally, the last one, the most difficult one, Werner. <laughs> Call up, teacher. Give me the whole sentence. Uh, uh, call up, call no, up. Read the whole sentence for me. Ah, uh, the the final stopping working. We need to call up a technician. A technician. A technician. Good. Sorry. All right, there you go, guys. Excellent. All right, so that's it, guys. Can you guys know the vocabulary there? Uh, and of course, there are more phrasal verbs. Those are not the only ones, right? Those are just like the tip of the iceberg, right? It's just like a little bit of, es una probadita de phrasal verbs, okay? All right, so guys, that will that's going to be all for today. Uh, we are going to stop there our class, and um, I want you guys to advance in the in the um, platform if you guys can uh you can do even up to um well you can do it up to the um the the homework number 15 because 15 is a review so you can do that as well okay so guys that will be all solo eh, pregunto si manuel alejandro se puede quedar Mona Alejandro, no sé si está ahí. Si no, si hay alguien más que quiera hacer alguna pregunta, también se puede quedar. Oh. All right, guys. Me so, oh, okay, great. Okay, that's no. fine, Noemi. I'll, you can stay after class, no problem. Okay, guys, take care. Enjoy your sure. weekend. Okay. Sure. Uh, yes, I've got uh, uh the, the finally home homework is uh 14 or 15. for for week number three is 15. Uh, 15. but 15 is a review so you can do it okay no necesita it's possible okay okay all right okay Okay, guys, take care. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you on Monday, okay? Bye-bye. Okay, Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Ah, uh, good. So, in a momentito. Okay. All right. So, Nami, ¿en qué le puedo ayudar? Tengo problemas en la plataforma. Yo no la completé la semana anterior porque tuve problemas. E hice y yo ya, no, ya me di al final porque no, no completé las seis okay. y las diez. Ok. That's... Entonces, en unas al final di, pero en las, hay otras en que no pude. La tarea número seis y la diez. Uh -huh. Igual en el midterm de parte 4 no la pude completar ni la 3. Ok, solo denme un momento. Ok. Para ya esto.
Ok, la 6 dice. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál de las 6 tuvo, tuvo problema sí, sí. en particular de las 6? En las 6, sí. Uh -huh. Era la sección. Tengo Ay, la sección dos. En mi amor. Ok. Ok, ya. En la seis es en la tres. En five. No, put. Ok. Vale, number three. Le voy, vale, le voy a explicar lo que pasa con, este, con la plataforma. La, este ejercicio está programado para que acepte dos respuestas. Uh -huh. Uno es la respuesta completa, o sea, la oración con la corrección completa. Y la otra es simplemente cambiando la palabra por la que es correcta. Sin embargo, en la 3, lo que sucede con la 3 es que en esta solo programaron una respuesta. Que es cambiando la palabra que está incorrecta. So, en la Ah, yo, yo le tengo, there are three distribution centers in Ilopango, y no me la da. Vale, Entonces, por, lo, la razón por qué no le da es porque lo ha escrito la oración completa. La pregunta okay. es, ¿cuál es la palabra entonces que está cambiando? Are. Solo ponga eso. Solo es. Sí. Oh. Ay, que es como iba a ver. No, yo sé, yo sé. De hecho, voy a reportarlo mañana porque si tiene razón, eso, eso puede dar problemas también. O sea, sí, porque todas las demás se aceptó la oración completa. Ajá, pues, sí. Y, la, y las cinco, pues, pues no, verdad, tampoco. No. Razón. Ahorita voy a tomar nota de eso. Ay, qué rico se va a dormir hoy. Con esta lluvia. Fresco. Sí. ¿Está, está lloviendo? ¿Dónde está usted? Fíjense que empezó, pero ahorita ya no sigue. Ya no. Ay, Tal vez más tarde. Está lloviendo fuertecito. Ok. Eh, ok. Well, en number five, ¿verdad? What is, what, ok. What is the problem with number five? Uh, There is. Mm, or no. there or there not any person. No. Okay. No. Es que no puede ser is porque si no ahí tendríamos que cambiar dos cosas. Tendríamos que no solo cambiar el verbo, sino que también agregarle el a. Porque so, ahí no parece que eso. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Entonces tendría que ser el a person una persona. Entonces, uh -huh. mucho cambio. Entonces, ¿qué es, ¿qué es más sencillo cambiar? There, there are there are not persons. Person. What is the plural of person? Um, one. No, what is the plural of person? Okay. Person is singular. And plural? Mm -hmm. Person. Person. Persons. Personal? No. The person. The plural. People. People. Yeah. Oh. Bye. Yes. 
Intenté con eso. Vamos a ver. There are, there are not people to work. There are not people to work. Pero no me la agarra. No le, no le agarra qué. Eh, no, me, no me la acepta como okay. buena. Solo, solo um, revise que lo haya escrito bien, puntuación. Y punto al final. Uh, there are not people es doble P, ¿verdad? P -O -P -O. No. no. People es P-E-O-P-L-E. -E -E. Ah, pues es, es, le puse doble P. Ah, okay. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, yes, tarea 10. Sí, sí, por la tengo. ¿Y cuál es la otra? En la uh, 10, la 4. En la 10. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tarea 10 en el item 4. Yo, yo puse checking people are not allowed to late. Pero check in. Pero la puse por todos lados y no, no me la salió. La 4. El de not check in are people. Uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. ¿Qué People are not allow, allowed to lay check in. Ah. Y le puse como check in. People are not allowed. Después le puse are not. Okay. People are allowed to. Significa que después del to va a ir el verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? To late o check. No, ¿Cuál es el verbo? Late check. o check? Check. To check in late. Yes. Ok. People are not are not allowed to check in late. I see. Okay. List. Yeah or no? Yes. Okay. All right. Una otra pregunta? Uh, only teacher. Okay. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Noemi, anything else? Just um, write to me. Send me a, a little, um, a little message through WhatsApp, and I will help you. Okay. 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 Thank All you very much. You're welcome, Mommy. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.